Hi everyone. Don't this look like a hot mess? But it's not. This is all the goodies that I got from my trip to Missouri Quilt Star um, Company in Missouri, obviously. It's in Hamilton, Missouri to be exactly. It's the first time I've ever been to a quilting retreat in my life, even though I've been making quilts for probably 30 years. I have never been to a quilting retreat. So I'm going to show you the goodies I got. Whenever you go shopping or in the scavenger hunt that we had, you got these nice little bags. They're like a can they're not canvas. They're like a, a vinyl bag, but they're really nice. They got nice handles on them. So I've got one, two, three of the small ones, plus one right there. I've got a medium sized one right there, and then a great big one right there. When we went on our scavenger hunt, the very first thing we went to, we went to the main store and we got the big bag. And then as we went around and followed the clues, we went to different stores and everything was either a gift or it was a gift that related to the project that we were going to be working on. And like we got this three bag, three, the three zipper bag pouches that you can use for travel or your sewing accessories, whatever. We went to another store. It was like an antique store and they had some like vintage fabrics in a bundle and we could pick out whichever fabric we want. And I picked this one. I, I love that shade there of red this darker red and I just thought it was kind of pretty we got these clips which would help hold on binding we got this press and point turner it's a little wood one it's so smooth and there's no splinters or anything like that in it and we got this five inch ruler it's acrylic war I haven't taken the paper off mine yet we got this um it's like interfacing so we can do our dresden circles when we do our dresden plate we got this dresden ruler which is um i think it's a 10 inch blade ruler so you can make yeah you can make that up to 10 inches it's a nice ruler i haven't taken the paper off that either when if you do take paper off it'll be more this color here green i got um this two and a half by 15 inch ruler I still have a piece of the paper. So there you can see what it looks like without the paper on it and with the paper. Uh, this is a two and a half by 15 inch ruler, which is great for cutting um, your fabric. We got this hand cream. I got cherry almond, which smells like Jergens. And it reminds me of my Aunt Sue Jergens um, smell. So I love that. I always love that. So that's what I got. And we got this neat little um, notepad. It has a little snap on it and a little... Um, it's got these pretty little notes in them that you can so you got each one of them there i got these earrings they weren't part of the scavenger hunt um, someone had made those and brought them and i just thought they were darling they're embroidered i thought maybe they were vinyl or something but they're actually embroidered uh what else did we get uh on our scavenger hunt we got that book right there we got this book, which happens to have the patterns in it that we will be making. And here are the two patterns that we were going to be making. We were going to make this particular Dresden and be making this one here, this Diamond Terrace. That's the one I'm working on. I'll show you in a minute. One of the other ladies went shopping. She found this magazine and they were selling them for like 75 cents a piece. And she picked us up some. Uh, so that's a pretty good deal. But. On this book that we got guess who stopped by and visited us jenny dunn and she autographed my book yay when we arrived we got a name tag we got a early christmas gift it has some fabric in it and a free pattern uh while i was out shopping i got this little duster love this thing it's like wool i'm allergic to wool but this isn't bothering me and this thing is like a magnet. It picks up everything. You see, I've been using it. It's got that little black fuzz from the um, black fabric that I was using. I got a template that does curved uh, borders around the quilt by Eleanor Burns. One of the ladies made all of us a little purse. And we got to pick out which one we wanted. And of course, you know, I had to pick out the one that had sparkles. Isn't that pretty? And then it's like iridescent pink on the back. It snaps and it has a little key thing on it. So you can put your change or whatever in it. I bought a Drunkard's Path ruler. 
It's two piece right there. Um, I got this ruler for free. Uh, someone had brought it in and um, had some stuff that was free. And I got this one. I'm sure it would come in for you know, several things, but this particular one is for uh, the burst block template. But I'm sure I could use it for a lot of things. Uh, let's see. I got these. Someone brought these in. It's like a little screw post. I bought these uh, blade refills. I bought a couple extra seam rippers. I happen to love this brand. It's my favorite ones. They're just really ergonomic and I just love the way they feel in my hands. I got I bought this ruler. Now this is a bias tape or like for making uh, binding. This ruler actually unfolds on the end. See it's like two there. I don't know if you can see the line in that. There's two rulers and it opens up to double this length and you can make long bias tape ends and each end is at a 45 degree angle so then you don't have to worry about cutting a 45 degree angle to join the ends together. Uh, we took a leather making class. We got a free key ring. It was from this company here. Hometown Leather Works. I made this bracelet. I colored it. They tanned it and sealed it. I thought it looked like a quilt pattern, so that's why I picked it. I, thought, I like it. And then I made this. Isn't this cute? They did the same process process with this. I decorated it and they did it. But here's the neat thing about this one. It opens up and inside is a pair of foldable scissors. They look like this when you take them out. And they open up to this size here, which they're great for like snipping threads or trimming um like embroidery, um, yeah, embroidery, like getting down close. They're not curved, so you can't get real close, but and they're really sharp, so they do cut fabric. I did, of course, I tried them out okay and i won this we had like an icebreaker thing uh we had to fill out like things that we brought and whoever got the most points got to pick out things and then went down the you know went down the whole list everybody got to pick out something but this is a pin cushion and it looks like a spool of thread and it has uh, about the size of spool of thread so you could actually put this on one of the standing the extra like when you have twin needle you put that extra post on top of your sewing machine you could set that up there and then you'd have access to your pins really easily got that and oh they have a deal of a day and you get to pick out one item for deal of the day and here are some of them i the first day i got the black bundle you can only get like one and these were like 24 dollars, which is like half price almost uh, stephanie got the other one for me and so i was able to get two enough to do my the quilt that i'm working on and then they had this boutique isn't that pretty it's like a solid boutique then they had these. Doesn't that look good enough to eat? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Look at those. And then I found these fabrics. These are fat quarters. And I don't have any special project for them. They're just pretty. I know I have a lot of fabric. You can't say that I have too much because that's not a thing. That is a myth. You cannot have too much fabric. If anyone says you can, that's like saying you have too many sewing machines. And you can't have that either. Okay, this is the Diamond Terrace quilt that I'm working on. I have almost all of my squares done. I have not joined them all together. But my goal was to do like an antique um, or classic Christmas. I didn't want something bold and uh, bright. I wanted something that was um, a little more muted out, I guess. This kind of looks brown, but it's actually green as I come in on it. You can see, which that red plays with this red. And the gold here plays with that gold. And then, of course, I have blue down here at the end. I have white squares, all kinds of different color squares, different shades of green. I have different um, golds. Anyway, when I get done, I will post that. But that is my Diamond Terrace quilt. I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that we got from our quilting retreat, which was amazing. If you ever get a chance to go, it is worth the trip. And they treat you very well. You have rooms. Um plenty of bath and showers for everyone they give you your meals you get free stuff on your um scavenger hunt and um you meet a lot of new friends you learn great tips from people oh and i forgot to tell you i got these i had never seen these before these are totes that you can keep if you buy jelly rolls you can put your jelly rolls in there and keep them kind of organized and you can see what you have See, I can see right through there, and it will store, I would probably 
two or three rolls of jelly rolls in each one two for sure no doubt about that but i got those i only bought two because i don't have a lot of jelly rolls honestly i was never big on jelly rolls i thought they were a waste of money but i am seeing the error of my ways now and i actually do like jelly rolls as you can tell i bought i've bought three jelly rolls plus i had five or six that i took with me but um i do i am learning to love them but there's everything which is pretty cool.